Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Becky and I'm the owner and artist of the Simple Spruce Studio. If you guys like going thrift store shopping, estate sales, garage sales, uh, antique stores, flea markets, um, I take you along with me on some of my shopping adventures and then I will pop on and show you the items that I have purchased. And usually when I come on and show you the items that I have purchased, show you my thrift haul, the items are already listed on my website for sale, which is thesimplespruestudio.com. So if you guys are interested in purchasing any of the items today that I'm gonna show you during this thrift haul, make sure you go check out that website. And I will post that in the description below for you guys to make it easier to find. So we're gonna go ahead and get started here. We've got like 41 items, so I'm gonna try and get through it quick so <laughs> I don't bore you guys to death. So, okay, so we're gonna get started. I think these are like three different places that I um, went to. I've had uh, a resale shop um, in a couple of towns over in Washington, Missouri called um, The Shop Around the Corner and the Goodwill in Washington. And I think some of these items also came from Half Crocked Antique Store in Bourbon, Missouri. Did you guys catch that? Half Crocked in Bourbon, Missouri? <laughs> some people get a kick out of that. So, but that is what it's called. So, okay, so we're going to get started. We're gonna start with, and now I got my little list here so I can, not miss anything. I thrifted these cute little weaving bobbins. They're little antique weaving bobbin, bobbins. They are too cute, love them. They've got the metal around the top and in the, the little tin part around there. These look cute in any little decorative vignette. You can even take your uh, string and wrap around it if you wanna add color to it to match your decor. So you can do that to both of those. So these are listed for the set of two for $14. And then we've got this cute metal, rusty, crusty old garden fork. It kind of looks like a little hand, doesn't it? Love the old rusty vintage patina on it and the fact that it still has some of its color. This would look cute if you guys have a, um, little plant stand with your pots and all that good stuff on it. And this laying on a set of gardening gloves, or you can actually use it also because it is the, it's the metal. So very cute, very cute. So this is listed for $8 on the site. And then I've got these uh, vintage wood spatulas. These are old. I love the little short handled one. How cute. And then we got one that is lighter wood. It's got all the wear and tear on it. Longer handled. Now the long handled one is $6 and this one is $5. Cute in little crocks in your kitchen with your old vintage wooden spoons and whatnot. And then we got, I love my flower frogs. It's so hard for me because I want to start collecting the flower frogs. I've got a few, but I know I need to let them go too and let you guys get some. So this is a little glass flower frog. It has the 11 holes in it. It's got the three little knobs on the bottom, kind of the little feet for them. And these, you guys, you do not have to use these just as a flower frog. Think outside the box, y'all. These look cute, just stacked with other flower frogs in a vignette on a stack of books. You can put vintage colored, beautiful colored marbles in these to hold your, to display vintage marbles. Um, I like using them in my craft area. You can put paint brushes in them. You can put your colored pencils, markers, and you can also get collect vintage old scissors and put the scissors in there and display them. So, so many options with these guys. You do not have to use them 
just as a flower frog. Because a lot of times if you use them as a flower frog and you stick these in a vessel, you can't even see them. And that is what I love about them. I love the beauty of them. So I like them to be as a display piece. So this one is, what I say? The glass flower frog, $10. And that goes with, same with the other one. Where did I have the other one? Oh, yes, right here. The brass flower frog, too. I love these. I love brass and copper. You guys will notice that throughout my thrift hauls and stuff. I love my brass and I love my copper stuff. So, so cute. And the measurements on everything is listed on the website. And also, y'all, which one's this one? This one's $14, $14. And if you go to the website and you go to purchase something and it says in the title, read description, make sure you go down and read the description. And uh, because a lot of the items, I, can, I don't say a lot, but some of the items I'm either going to flip them that means I'm gonna paint them, I'm gonna add a transfer or a mold to them, I'm gonna do something to spruce it up. And then, and but the price that's listed on the website is the price that it's going to be after I've upcycled it. So it's not gonna change. So if you decide you want to purchase it before you see the finished product, which a lot of people do, they just, I don't take, um, I don't take orders, um, but, a lot of people, they all trust, usually trust me that they're gonna like what I do because they like my style and how I decorate or whatever, but they'll buy it ahead of time not knowing exactly what color it's gonna be or what's gonna be done to it. Or you can wait until you see the updated picture of it and hope, you know, and hope that it's still available when that happens. So just make sure you do read that, read the descriptions because some things are to be altered. And if you wanna purchase it and you don't want it altered, or painted or anything, make sure you send me a message saying um, leave as is or do not paint, just something so I know to ship it as is and not alter it, so. Okay, and then we've got this vintage amber little bottle. Like I said, all the sizes are listed on the website. I almost added this to my little collection of amber bottles. Almost did, but I thought, no, I, my husband's voice is still in my head. Becky, you can't keep everything. <laughs> like, okay, okay, okay. But this is a VIX, an old vintage VIX bottle. And this one is listed for $6. Trying to stay on my list here because I know I'll end up forgetting something. Ooh, the vintage brass. Now, I had to look this up love the brass, love the black wood handle. It's got the little hook on it if you wanna hang it. It's got the markings, marking on the back. Now I did um, Google Lens this to see exactly what it's called. It's got the little, I don't know you guys, can you see the little spout on the tip of it too? but they have it listed as a brass teapot, milk warmer, or coffee pot. But to me, it's just vintage brass and wood goodness. <laughs> That's what I call it, but you know, you gotta title it something so people can find it. But love this, love the look of it. And that's $18. Okay, we've got TS&T, which is Taylor Smith & Taylor, um, a set of three dishes. We've got two of them are the same size, and then we've got one that is bigger. It's got the green transferware on the inside. And I'm assuming, well, I shouldn't assume. I think they're like Homer Lachlan, Pastoral, Taylor Swift, or Taylor Smith, Taylor Smith, Taylor Smith, Taylor. But there is, am I holding it up right now? I've got it upside down for you. Look how pretty. I love the green transfer wear and the brown. I'm a fan of those. The red and the blue ones too are beautiful, but I don't do the red and the blue. But here's that one. It's got the detail, of course, around. 
And I don't think these had any, I usually try to check and make sure I put in the descriptions if there's any um, chipping. Now they are older and vintage, so to me, the more discolor they have and the more crazing, the better. Yeah, there's no flea bites around the edges or anything, but you know, you do have the age discoloration on them, but beautiful pieces. So the set of three is listed for $14. And then we've got a vintage, to me it looks Art Deco, wood knife box. And this is listed for $18. Now this one does say read description. So you got to make sure you read the description because when I first seen this, I loved the fact that it's a nice solid piece of wood and it is a good base to paint, add some cute transfers to it and just update it just a little bit. But it's still going to keep that original um, style to it. So, so we get the wood knife box for $18. And what I was thinking of is painting it, putting transfers on it, and then putting like little sprigs of either dried flowers or uh, regular flowers in it. Artificial, of course, because it does sit up on its own, but it's also got the hole to where you can hang it too. So very cute. Okay, this is a vintage brass lithographed tin. Was not familiar with these at all. Okay, so we've got a horse. It looks like a man on a horse with a sword. I had to Google lens these to see what, what was going on with these. Like I'm still new to a lot of these items, but it is a lithographed tin. These were listed and selling for $60 a tin. So, let me get the lid off. Very cool. Will not be touching this. I'm gonna leave it. I love the color, the aged patina, the details, which, I mean, if you painted it and then white waxed it or dark waxed it, it would bring out the detail more, but I can't do it. I love, I love the color of it. So, and this is listed on the site for $25. I think it's just a beautiful piece in any kind of vintage vignette. Like I said, it's got the detail around on the, the lid too. If you guys can, there you go. You can see the light better. It's brighter than that side. There we go. <laughs> so we got that piece. And then we got this Andreas. Aesthetic. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Now, I love the cottage core, granny chic, grand millennial pieces coming out. I'm gravitating more toward them. I'm not sure if everybody is, but I'm loving it. And the chinoiserie, to me, this is a good example of the chinoiserie. This is more of an Asian, has a more of an Asian flair to it. Look at the detail on that, the peacock. And the gold, how everything's trimmed with the gold and how shiny it is. Love that. Here is the sticker on the back. And I think I have this one listed at 22. And it comes with the little gold, antique gold easel. So yes, the easel is included. It comes just like this for the 22. Very sweet, very, like I said, very cottage core, grand millennial style, loving it. This is another piece I almost, I almost kept it to put in my bedroom on my tall boy my high boy or chester drawers, whatever you want to call them. Oh, and then this. This is how it was displayed. They, it is a uh, vintage note card clip, but they had it staged with these beautiful, well, I added these little hankies, little handkerchief holder. Um, but that's how they had it staged. So the handkerchiefs weren't included in the purchase of this. So, and I knew I had some. 
So I'm adding these to it just to show you guys how cute it looks with some old vintage hankies on it. The clips are very, the springs on them are very tight. So if you put note cards in it, like a piece of paper or these real thin, dainty handkerchiefs, they're not gonna fall out. Look at the bottom, the detail on the bottom there, the base of it. So very fancy, very cute and love it. So you can do it, you can put little note cards in it. You can even make it a recipe holder so it holds your recipe cards while you're uh, cooking or even just for display. You can do old vintage postcards, old vintage pictures to clip on there. Uh, you can clip anything on it and it's gonna look gorgeous. Love this piece. And that is listed for $26. And then we got, my husband wanted to keep this one, but I had to remind him. You can't keep everything, hon. <laughs> this old shoe shine box, you guys. And it's even got the Esquire Footman Deluxe stamp on both sides of it. It's got the slots to hold your shoe shine. It comes, and this comes with all the brushes. So see, it's got the stamp on the other side. It is solid wood. It is a very good piece, but you guys look, it comes with these three smaller brushes. This one is wood and Esquire boot polish. Mm -hmm. I can't read what the red stuff on there says, but, and then these are like the old plastic handled ones. And then you've got the nice wood brush. And you can use these also as uh, in your vignettes, a little rustic uh, vignette, and put uh, vintage pictures or postcards or something in these and stand up to use them as uh, displays. Here's a green plastic one. It's National Shoe Polisher. So it's got the maker on the back of that one. So you get those two brushes and then you get this big one. Look at this one. Is that not awesome? It does not have any uh, advertisement or markings on the back of the big one, but. So this whole piece, what did I list? I think I list this at 48. And like I said, all the goodies come with it, $48. And somebody decided to try to draw a design on there. But just, just a cool piece. Very, very cool piece. Okay. Then we got, oh, you guys, my little critters. They just called to me. Look at this cute little face. Look at that face. I could not walk off and leave this cute little face. Plus, I think this one was like a buck. I don't think it was over $2. I don't have the price tag still on it, but so cute. And what do I have him down? $9. He's listed for nine. And if you don't like the color of him, you can always, you know, do a, um, like a concrete textured paint on it to make him look concrete. But I wanted to leave him just like he is because he was adorable. The muted color too. So yes, ceramic duck is $9. Okay, now we got a wood match holder and it has a little copper rooster on it. Come, and it comes with one match. One match stick. <laughs> it still has the old match box, the uh, box in it. Let me see if I can scoot it out. No, it doesn't have. It's just the bottom of it. I thought maybe it would have some kind of advertising on it, but it does not. But you can set this up on your, by your stove, by your fireplace. It's got the little thing where you can hang it. So it's very, very cool piece. $12. Like that. <clears throat> Okay, and then we've got a mid-century modern 
rooster. $16. And he does have a little place where some of the uh, color is kind of uh, rubbed off on it, but very, very cool ceramic piece. Love the look of him. I love the way he looks like an aged copper color with the black speckles on him. Very cool piece. And I know I've got people out there that love the roosters still. $16. Okay, now I got a bag of pears. Now this came in a, a basket or something. I can't remember what basket they came in, but they are 10 pears. And they're listed on the website for $12 for the bag. But they've got the kind of crystal. But look at the colors. The colors look very, very realistic and very nice. How beautiful would that be sitting in a bowl or a basket for spring and summer in your kitchen, on your table. So yes, there's 10 of those. And you get the whole bag of 10 for 12 bucks. Okay, now we've got, oh, this frame. I found two of these frames together in the same place and I purchased them both. And I used one of them to print out an old picture um, of the first place my parents lived in when they got married. So I printed it out, put it in one of these little swivel antique frames and gave it to them, I think it was for Christmas. And they loved it. There's a little place here that used to be out on the bluff above the river, overlooking the river called the Lookout, Outlook, the Outlook. I think it was the Outlook. And uh, they rented that place, one of the places there, um, right after they got married. So and it's no longer there. I don't know if it burnt down or they tore it down, but that was back in, I think, 67, 68. But there was a restaurant, a local restaurant here in town that had old pictures of places locally. And they had a picture of that uh, building there. So I had taken a picture of the picture, printed it out and framed it in one of these old antique frames and gave it to my parents. Well, I have another one like this that's very similar. It doesn't have the detail on the top, but I don't know who this picture of this person is, but. I'm going to eventually change the picture out to maybe one of my grandparents or something. But this one I'm keeping. But this one here, I'm going to go ahead and sell. But when you read the description, it says it's to be repaired and spruced up because it's got, it's loose in a few places. The little corner down here needs to be glued and pushed together. It does have the original uh, marking advertisement on the back. If you guys can read that, let me cover my face up so it'll focus. Um, but yeah, so this one is going to be for sale, but in the description, it does say to repair, and then I'm going to either do a drop cloth um, picture and put in it of something. I'm not sure yet. But yeah, so this one is for sale. Let's see, what I have, $22 after it's been, I don't think I'm gonna paint it. I love, I love the color that it is. So, but I am gonna fix it, glue it, and then add a picture to it, so. So there is that one. And then our copper candlestick holders, y'all. I'm telling you, look at these. How adorable are these? I love the patina, especially this one. This one's got a little bit more patina maybe than this one does. The inside's got the patina, but if you take your little taper candles and put in them and do some kind of Spanish moss and little eggs or greenery flowing out of these, do one on a book stack, one on the table, display these together. Adorable. 
See, like I said, another one I wanted to keep, but I can't keep them all. And these do, these unscrew, but I guess maybe to make it easier to clean that out if you want to. But these are the copper candlestick holders and they are 28 for the pair. They're sold together. We're not gonna separate those babies. <clears throat> oh, and then these came in a bag. I had several little copper, copper pieces come. You know how some um, thrift stores bag up things in baggies to group them together and they'll put maybe one or two really cool items in there and then throw other little stuff in just to kind of get rid of it all. But I loved everything in this baggie. And here's two of them, these little vintage salt and pepper shakers. They have their original corks. It says Japan on them. But look how sweet they are. How adorable are these in on a tear tray in a cute little kitchen vignette, dining room, in a hutch. So sweet, so sweet. I loved them. And those are $12 for the set. Okay, let me grab this. The scroll, the wood scroll. I'm still getting used to where I gotta look at. If I'm looking straight at my camera, it looks like I'm looking off this way. I gotta remember to look at this part of the camera. <laughs> so I'm looking at you guys. This piece, this was a Goodwill piece. I love the detail in it. I even love the color. I love the color of it. The only thing, it does say read to the description. I think I'm going to uh, do a dark wax and then maybe a little bit of uh, um, antique gold rub and buff on the high areas of this. I think it would just brighten it up just a little bit more and make it look more antique vintage type. So... It does have the hangers on it. It's not an old, old piece or anything by all means, but we can make it look old and vintage. So that's the plan for this one. And this scroll, the wood scroll is, what did I say this one was? $20. And that is with it being updated and spruced up just a little bit. Oh, sorry guys, my nose, my allergies are still driving me nuts. Okay, then we've got a tin wall shelf. Now, this was also a Goodwill find. I love the shape, the structure. Woo! Sorry, guys. And this, read the description. It says, read the description because this is to be painted and it'll be distressed and waxed back. It's got the hangers on the back. It's just a really nice... 10 shelf. So yes, so we can do a little bit better than this. But if you like the style and you want to leave the picture on there and you purchase it, make sure you just send me a message that says, uh, do not paint. So and this one's going to be 26 um, after it's painted. Ooh, we got the metal bird cage. Where's my bird lovers? I know I've got all kinds of bird lovers out there. Another Goodwill find. I had this in my cart and a lady walked up and she seen it in my cart and she was like, oh, you got a good one there. And I was like, I know. I said, there's so many people love the whole bird cage, birds and all that stuff. And she said that she collected them. So, and I went on for a little bit and I'm like, you know what? Then it just hit me. I was like, I think she collects these. I could just, just go give it to her. So I went all over the whole store, tried to find her to give her the birdcage, but I couldn't find her. So I ended up with it. But it's got the little feet on the bottom. Three little round feet. It does open up right here on the top. So many ways to decorate this, you guys. So many ways. It's got the cute bird on it. <laughs> and I have it listed for $20. Put that back, sorry for the close up there. Okay, now this is a um, vintage metal watering can. Love, love the shape of this. Check this out, you guys. I had to Google lens this because I was not familiar with the tag on the bottom of it, but look at the shape of this in the handle. 
and this, the little opening, the color, they did awesome with the coloring on it and everything. Now it is a, it's an IMAX, and I even looked up the item number on the bottom of this. And this thing, original price was $89, guys. Yes, $89. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I'm not spending $89 on a watering can. Because to me, the more rust it has on it, the older it looks, the dents to me just adds character. And you can go find those all day long at flea markets, garage sales, and all that stuff. So, but how beautiful would this be in your, on your plant rack, whether you have one sitting outside your potting table, um, sitting by your potted plants with your gardening gloves and this laying on the gardening gloves and it's all functional guys it's all functional it's not just for display but how beautiful are these pieces with your potting gloves your gardening gloves and yes so cute but yeah this i own i have listed for 49 49 i love this piece if I had a green thumb and had lots of potted plants, guys, this would be staying with me, but I do not have a green thumb. My husband does better with plants than I do. We've got three indoor plants that he's been babying and keeping alive because I am not good at it. I put water on to boil eggs and forget that I started boiling, boiling eggs. It's, it's not that I can't do it. It's my mind. I don't know. Maybe I have ADHD, but yeah, I forget that quick. <laughs> so he, he takes care of the plants. I do have some succulents. I have four little things of succulents in the kitchen window, guys, that are staying alive and I'm keeping them good because they don't require water as often. <laughs> I know I'm bad, but they look good. Okay, we got a coffee, a French press coffee pot. <laughs> look at the patina on this gorgeous thing, guys. Isn't that pretty? Look at all that. I love it. Love the look of it. And for you that don't like the, you know, you can polish it up, whatever you want. Now, usually when I find these, um, how much do I have this one listed for? Uh, 22. Usually when I find these, they don't have the innards in them. The innards, the inside. This one does. This one still has the... The piece that goes to it, so, which to me makes it even more appealing, but I love the shape of it. I love all that patina on it. It's a very pretty piece. Okay, and then we've got, okay, a mushroom. I did find out from people, look at this, vintage mushroom. It is Arnell's. A-R-N-E-L-S, Arnell's 1972 ceramic piece. Did not know. I thought maybe it would be a really cool flower frog. You could put little uh, flower sprigs in it. But I was told that you put baking soda in this and stick it in the fridge. And now that I know that, I'm like, I've got to find me another one of these because that is such a cool idea. It's so much nicer and looks so much cuter in the fridge than the whole box of baking soda or baking powder, whatever you put in the fridge. But yeah, so cute, so cute. So this is on listed for $12. That was such a neat piece. I think I was more intrigued with the idea of what it's used for <laughs> and what it could be used for too. So, okay, we've got a hand-carved cute trinket box. You guys know I love trinket trays. I love trinket boxes. For some reason, I am drawn to the little trinket dishes, ceramic trinket dishes. The more detail, the better. But here's a cute little hand-carved trinket box. It says India on the bottom of it. It is carved all the way around. Hand-carved all the way around. So adorable opens up. It's got the blue velvet lining in it. Just an adorable piece. And then there's the stamp on the bottom of it. 
sweet, sweet little piece. $15. Like I said, it does say India on the bottom of it. Okay, my brass duck. Back to the brass. We're going to hit some brass and copper pieces here, guys. <laughs> so we've got the brass duck figurine. Picture this on a bookshelf on a stack of books. You got a couple standing up straight, a few laying down, the duck sitting on it. It's just a gorgeous vignette piece. Very, I don't know, what do you call that? Studious. Or if you have a library and have these pieces displayed on a cool bookshelf or in a hutch. So he's not solid all the way through. Lord, he would be heavy if he was because he's good size. But he is all brass. Very cool duck. $14. Okay. Then my Wedgwood. I almost kept this one too. <laughs> I know I'm bad, guys. I know, I know, I know. This is Wedgwood. Look at the sagey green in this and the raised details all the way around it. The detail in the handle, if you guys can see, it's almost like wavy, like it's been twisted kind of. The cute little spout. There are no little flea bites on this. No cracks. Very pretty piece. There is the, the stamp. Let me keep my face out of there so maybe it'll focus. The colors are just gorgeous. I love that sage green. Very beautiful piece, $24. which I looked this piece up because I didn't know what they go for. I've seen other pieces like trinket trays and stuff like that, but this had sold for 30 and up. So I was very unfamiliar with like pricing wise on those, but it's listed for 24. <clears throat> okay. Brass and Copper Mini Pepper Grinder. This was also in the little baggie with the other salt and pepper shakers, the wooden ones. And this is the piece that I spotted first. I love it. It's still got the little uh, sliding spot here that you fill it with. A lot of times those are broke off. And it's still a working piece. And it is a combination of copper and brass. Very cool piece. I love that. And this is made in Italy, I think. Yes. And it is $19. $19 on the website, guys. And these, this was also, these were also in the uh, Ziploc bag. Look at these. Now, they are copper, but the handles, I think the handles are the only thing that are brass on them. Yes. Aren't those cute? Two little colanders, copper with the little brass handles on them. And all four of the little handles are still there. And I have these listed separately for $8 a piece with the patina left on them. My favorite part. Okay, now we've got another brass. Let me find my brass angel. There she is. Or he. Everybody says angels as she's. But I think in the Bible, aren't they all referred to as males? He's. But look at that. How sweet. It is all brass, but it is, you know, the hollowed out. Look at that cute little face. I don't know if it's like a little cherub or a little, just a little angel and the wings and its little feet crossed. Sweet. And this is listed for 14. And you can polish them, like I said, you do you. You do what you like. Made in India, which is a really good indicator that it's all brass. Uh, like I said, that one was 14. Then we got a brass swan. I am still on the lookout, which I know a lot of people find them, but I have not come across them and I want to find them in the wild, but the large set of the brass swans, they've got pretty
pretty good size ones that I'm looking for. But this one here is one of the smaller versions. It's so adorable. And the breast swan is listed for $9. I'll be so excited. I know that probably there's some areas in the United States that people can find the larger set. You know, they're probably a dime a dozen, but out here I have not come across them yet. So, and I'm in uh, Missouri, so I'm right in the middle. <laughs> so I'm looking, I'm looking, and it's gonna be fun. I love the thrill of the hunt, guys. So I love finding the things out in the wild. I could probably go on eBay or some Etsy and order them from somebody, but I, I want to find them. I want to find them. Okay, got some more brass. These are sold as a set. We got one that's a little bit bigger than the other, but we've got some cute little brass ducks. Now, these are solid. These are not hollowed out or anything. They are solid little brass ducks. How cute. Under a cloche. You guys, if you got your little cloche displays like I have back here and I've got two little brass bells in there, but these would look adorable on the little candle stick I got in there, the little pedestal, but so adorable. So these are sold as a set and they're $16 for the set. Okay, and then our heart-shaped, our brass heart-shaped little trinket box. Again, another trinket box. But how sweet would this be? Sitting on your little dresser or vanity to put your jewelry in. It is engraved with, it says love on the front. Just love the old, look at the patina on it. It's, And yeah, me, I would take something brand new, solid brass and probably set it outside in the weather just so it would start looking like this, guys. But like I said, if you like the shinier, polished brass, then you can polish them up. So that trinket box is 14. Okay, we got a cute little ceramic owl. This was also in that little bag, but how cute. He's a little mini. He does have a little like chip right there on his little ear, but I thought I'd go ahead and list him anyway. He is adorable. Look at him, he's got his little, I thought maybe it was his little fat belly, but we're gonna say he's got his, he's proud. He's got his chest puffed out, but he is so cute. Little ceramic mini owl, $4. So sweet. And then I know owls and mushrooms, they're all very sought after, very popular, trending right now. And then I have a set of ceramic ducks, the set of two for $12. Look, this is another one is look at those little faces and eyelashes. They just called to me. How sweet. And these things were filthy when I found them. I was like, oh my gosh, this one's got its little nose holes painted on it. This one didn't, but they are just cute. And they cleaned up so nice. I mean, look at the shiny, how clean they are. So adorable. So yeah, $12 for the set. And then we got our mirror. This is a vintage mirror. Oval. Look at the detail in the handles or the edge around it. It's got little flowers and birds on it. Yeah, you guys get to see the, my house there. <laughs> my chandelier. Oh, goodness. But very cute. It's trimmed all with that antique gold, the vintage gold. It's oval. Look at the back of it. To me, that's right there. That says vintage all over it, all day long. So cute. And this is listed at 24. And like I said, you take this, you put your little trinket dish on there and look at the colors, guys, I'm telling you. And then you have a little um, single sprig uh, vase, like a bud vase sitting on it with a little, yeah or even a candle, yes, 
So cute, guys. So cute. Okay, I did say the mirror was 24. And then we've got this vintage. I'm thinking this is like a depression glass uh, candy dish. Look at the detail on it. This, play, this one here cleaned up good too because it was a mess. I did not feel any little chips or flea bites around the edges. I love the olive green color in this. Just a very pretty, pretty elegant, simple piece. Simply elegant. So, and this is listed at $12. And then we've got the set of three candlesticks. Let me show you how pretty these pieces are all together. Huh, hold on. Let me grab some candles for you guys so you can see, get the full effect without knocking anything over. So. Now, these are sold as a set of three. They're all individually different, but the fact that you put the same candles in them and that they're all brass pulls them all together. So they're not identical like triplets, but they're all like sisters. So there's that one. Let me show you them close up. This one here, you can put any kind of cute little things down there. It's got the little handle on it. That's what it looks like with the candle. Sweet. And then this is the long, larger one. And I'm selling them as a set, $28 for the set. Let me see if I can lift this up without dropping them. Just to show you how pretty. They look all together. I love them. Like I said, guys, you know I love my brass. My brass stuff and copper. Like I said, those that set of three is $28. Now I'm gonna show you a few items that I thrifted that I'm keeping for myself. I know some people are like, well, don't show us the stuff you're keeping, but I wanna show you guys the items that I actually find. Now, since I was born, my mom has had this ceramic apple on our refrigerator with a little lid on it, it's a cookie jar. And it's just a big apple. I'm sure you guys have seen them a million times, but to me, that is just like my childhood because like I said, I do not ever remember that apple not being on top of our refrigerator. And it's still there at my mom's. It's still on the top of her refrigerator. Well, I was thrifting and found the matching salt and pepper shakers. How sweet is that? So these, now one is missing the cork, but that is okay. They're for display and then nostalgia of them. It was just like a flashback of my childhood with the big old huge <laughs> double sink with the rib drain boards on the side. Yeah, and the refrigerator with the, yeah, with my apple on top. So I told mom, don't ever get rid of that apple cookie jar. But these are going to her house and they're gonna be sitting on the refrigerator with the matching cookie jar. So I had to get these. And these, they were only $5 a piece. So it wasn't like they were crazy outrageous. So $10 for the set. So these are keepers, I'm keeping those. Now I'm keeping this, I got this for maybe what, 50 cents. This is going to be a DIY project. This is, which, I'll probably end up posting on here, um, the project. So you guys know what I'm talking about, but this is a future DIY project. I needed one more piece to finish what I was doing. So, and this was the missing piece. So can't beat that for 50 cents. Now this piece is just so sweet. My husband said he wanted to keep this one. So we kept it. Look at this candle, brass candlestick. Is that not cute? Look at the little handle. It is adorable, but it holds a book of matches. I've never seen one. I've never seen one. And it came, excuse me, it came with the matches. <clears throat> Hold on guys, I got a tickle in my throat. Ah, 
But yeah, and look at the detail. It's just a really cute piece. And you put the matchbox, of course, to where you can strike it. And very cute. It did not have any writing or any markings on it, not even to where it said India or anything like that, but just an adorable piece to put in a vignette. So this will probably be on a stack of books by the fireplace or something. So I'm keeping that piece. Oh, my wooden mallet. It's still got a little bit of the paint on it. It's got the hole in the bottom to where if you wanna run a string through it and I can hang it from a pegboard or something. But I think this is gonna be hanging downstairs in my craft area. A lot of times I've needed something that wasn't as rough as a hammer. So, and I love using the old vintage stuff instead of buying something new. So I've got a wood mallet. So I'm keeping that one. And I think that was it besides the pictures. Okay, for those of you who do not know, Troy and I are gonna be grandparents for the first time. Our middle daughter, Morgan, she is still in the Navy, so she is stationed in Tacoma, Washington. Um, well, that's where she lives, is in Tacoma, Washington, um, right now. And she is due April 18th, which is two days after Troy's birthday. So we're waiting any day now for a phone call saying that she's gone into labor and that we need to fly up there. So we're excited about that. That's our first grandbaby and that's our middle child having her first. And it's a girl, it's a girl. And uh, Camille, Ray, Ann, yes, Camille, Ray, Ann. <laughs> she's got two middle names. So we're excited about that. Um, but our youngest daughter, Tyler Jo, is having a girl also, and she's due June 8th. Yeah, just a matter of weeks apart from each other. So we have done up the spare bedroom as a spare bedroom slash, slash nursery. And I, you guys know I love the vintage, vintage stuff. So I'm doing kind of like an old vintage nursery with vintage toys and pictures and stuff in it. Well, I found these. I have a spot above the bed that's in there, which is an old brass, old vintage brass bed. And I found these kid prints. And I thought I loved the black frame on them and the old vintage style. And I loved the pictures. This is the boy with the dog and the puppy. So I'm gonna keep these and I'm gonna put them above the um, we got a full size bed in there. So I'm gonna put these above the bed and then the baby cribs next to that. And I will give you guys a sneak peek of the uh, the nursery when I get it done. I have one more thing to do besides put these pictures up. I have a shelf that I'm getting ready to put up. And then this is the little girl with the little house and her little animals. So let me know in the comments, guys, you think they're cute or kind of creepy. My daughter, <laughs> She thought they were a little creepy. This one here, she did. The little boy, she didn't think, but I don't know, something about the eyes of this little girl, she... But I think they're adorable. They're so old and vintage. I think it was 19, 1990, and it has in... I can't read what that is. Schneeman, S-C-H-N-E-E-M-A-N. 1990. So they're not that old of prints, but I just, I thought they were very vintage looking and very old. So those are going in the nursery. And I think that's all I have for you guys. So like I said, if you guys are interested in any of the items that I showed you today, make sure you go over to the website, thesimplespursstudio.com. I will put the link down in the description box for you guys. So, excuse me. <clears throat> and, uh, Yes, go over, check that out. And I think I covered it all. So yes, and also, if you wanna see some um, craft videos, make sure you go follow me over on Facebook. I'm on Facebook over there, so check that out too. Make sure you hit like and follow, and make sure you hit subscribe here, hit the bell notification, and hit all, so then you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video, because I do have another thrift video that I just, I went thrifting on Good Friday. Spent the day in a couple of uh, local um, thrift stores, antique stores, and 
did some shopping. So that video will be coming up next for you guys too. So stay tuned for that. So, all right, guys, will you guys go enjoy your day? Thank you for joining me and I will see you all next time. Love you guys. Bye.